I've done several videos utilizing uh, Acronis uh, True Image uh, 2018. I recently upgraded to uh, 2020. So some of the videos involved uh, backing up your entire computer, creating a Cronus Rescue Media on a US, uh, USB rather, where you can recover your computer. And here we have the backup uh, screen here. You want to have a backup of your computer, at least two backups, and I, I would recommend you have it in separate uh, hard drives. That way, if uh, you have two in the same one and it uh, goes corrupt, then you've lost your uh, your two images there. But here you can back up, and this screen you can back up your computer, you can recover your computer, replicate. And I've already done the backup uh, today. I've, I've done several. I did, I dis, I did this one uh, recently. And normally if you want to recover your computer, you're not having any major issues, but you want to recover an image that you've saved, you would just go here and hit recovery. And you select the one that you want entire computer and here you have the different versions okay you want to make sure you that the uh, one you have is validated so you want to validate it before you recover it because if it's if it gone corrupt say you have it saved for three months and you haven't uh, touched it and might go corrupt you want to validate I have it set so that when it uh, creates the backup it automatically validates it so it takes a little bit longer to do it but you can do it here now if it turns out that uh, your computer doesn't boot then of course you have to have a, a rescue media which I've done and previously so I won't go over that now but you'd have to go to uh, your bio section and and boot your com your computer from that USB or uh, DVD, whatever you use to uh, create the uh, the media. Now there is a way, and let me just go to uh, tools here. So here, of course, on this screen you can clone a disk, just like in 2018 uh, version, Rescue Media Builder, System Cleanup, and so forth. I think I did a video also on the Acronis Secure Zone. That was the 2018 version, but it's very similar, pretty much the same thing. Now, if I go to All Tools, do this here. The one I want to focus on this video is Acronis Startup Recovery Manager. So let me click on that. Now this is nice to have because uh, if you activate this one, every time you start your computer or restart it, over on the upper left part of the uh, screen, as it's booting before it, before the operation, the uh, uh, Windows uh, operating system kicks in, it'll prompt you to go to, to click or to hit the F11 key. Okay, so in other words, if your computer doesn't boot on its own, you don't have to use Rescue Media with this one here. You can just activate this and it will take you to an Acronis abbreviated Acronis screen, similar to what I just went over, where you can go ahead and uh, recover your computer. Okay, you don't have to go to the BIOS and so forth. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, so it's activated successfully. Okay. So again, if you're a little bit scared to go to BIOS, 
and say you lost your rescue media, then when you start your computer, especially if it doesn't boot, hit the F11 key, it'll prompt you, like I said, in the upper left-hand corner. And then, of course, make sure you have your uh, external hard drive connected to your computer, the one that has the image that you want to recover. And then you just go through the uh, regular recovery process. So I'm going to close this here and kind of go off screen here on the uh, Camtasia and use a regular camera so you can see what's good, what what uh, is going to happen. Okay, so I'll be right back with that. So again, when uh, you first boot your computer or you restart it, like I'm doing here, and you have a Corona Startup Recovery Manager activated on the upper left top, you might not be able to see it here. It'll prompt you to hit the F11 key. I don't know if I'll catch it the way it went too fast there. The way you get to this screen, and again, you have to have your uh, image uh, connected to your computer, the drive, uh, the, uh, drive you have it on, click on Recovery recover and then select the one you want based on date okay so recognize it by the date because the, le the letter it assigns it uh, instead of an F drive or a G it might it might change it so uh, you can click on, on the contents to check it out to make sure you got the right one or you can recognize the date that you uh, first created it and then once you select it, you just keep on hitting the next key. Obviously here I'm not going to recover because I don't need it. And there's uh, obviously things that can go wrong. I don't have a virtual uh, computer here for this particular one, so uh, my computer is running okay. But you can select the image or whatever files you saved. Uh, if you don't hit the F11 key, it'll just go to your... Uh, regular uh, setup, assuming your computer boots. Okay. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.